Hi there, welcome back to ADSR FMA Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed. YouTube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. Today we're going to recreate a techno arp sound, arpeggiator type sound. And also use some kind of processing in Logic and Auto Filter to just get that kind of techno y kind of sequenced or synth sequence sound going on. So you can download this patch directly from the fmhtutorials.com website. There's a link on the screen. Click that link, go directly to the site and download the patch. We're going to recreate it here. So I've got some reverb send and some ta uh, tape delay send going on as well. These kind of bus sends and that auto filter. Turn all that off for now. Let's look at this FM8. Let's create a new sound in here. Go to this ops page. I'm going to use free sawtooth waveforms for this sound. So select uh, Sawtooth from the waveform slots for operators D, E and F and let's turn all these operators on and route them all through the filter. Turn the filter on, route that to the output. So at the moment you've got three stacked Sawtooth waves. So operator F first, we can just keep this exactly as it is apart from obviously changing it to the Sawtooth wave, keep the ratio at 1. Operator E, take the ratio to 1.2 and operator D, take the ratio to 1.5 got that techno chord going on so operator F I'm going to route back into itself at around about 22 let's put, push the cut off frequency up for now and bring the resonance down so you can hear the top end in the sound so yeah route F into itself at 22 D at around 17 roughing up the sound a little bit so let's move to this master section now two voices can make the sound monophonic uh, pan some of these voices out add some digital bit crushing and um, let's also just transpose the sound down by one whole octave so so that transpose to minus 12 that's the sound you should be getting if you hit a C3 note so let's move back to this ops page and just take the volume of that filter down a little bit to around 80. I notice the level was coming in a bit hot there and also operator D maybe just take the volume down to about 84. So let's go ahead and look at this arpeggiator now. So I'm going to take the steps up to 16 here, turn the arpeggiator on, push the note length up to 100 and let's key sync it as well. And so what we want to do now is go over to this filter section, set up a little filter on here. So take the cutoff of filter 1 down to 0 and push the resonance up to around 35. And filter 2, push the spread up to 100, push the resonance up to about 31, push this resonance up a little bit more, yeah, about 35, 30, 31 on resonance of filter 2. And now let's set an envelope on this filter. So push this envelope amount up to around about three quarters of the way up. And let's set up a kind of sort of stabby envelope really. So bring that sustain right down. So now this is the envelope for each one of these individual arpeggiator steps setting this filter up in this way. So. So we have it round about there. And we can use this envelope amount to kind of control the amount of envelope we're having on that filter. And a cool thing we can do here is use this velocity here, push this right up to around about 90. So, so pushing that velocity value right up. Now if we go back to this arpeggiator section here and add some accents into this sequence, arpeggiator sequence. So I've got an accent on the first step, on the ninth step, on the twelfth, and on the fourteenth as well. So now with those accents applied and this velocity on the filter, play back this sequence. Take the velocity off. Not getting that. Those stabs. Which is 
just giving the sequence a nice kind of bit of rhythm really. And the volume of those accents is determined here really. On this velocity slider on the kind of on the filter here. So with that all set up, that's a bit kind of basic sound together really. Let's look at the process that we applied. So we've got this auto filter on here. So if I turn this on what I've done, I've created this filter, I've set it up, it's a bandpass filter the cutoffs are around about halfway, I've got quite a high resonance value and I've used this cutoff modulation so I basically I've, I've applied an LFO to that cutoff frequency here and this is the amount of modulation that we're applying and then I've set this LFO up with a kind of offbeat rate, it's beat synced and I've got this kind of waveform going so it's could have less modulation more modulation you could bring in some of the dry signal and then with that auto filter applied on there adding some reverb this gives it a really nice touch and then some delay We've got a really nice kind of techno-y, chordy, sequenced arpeggiator sound going on. So. We can go ahead and start automating some of this cut-off frequency. Or this envelope amount. works really well with the auto filter and then the delay applied after the auto filter it kind of works really well gives it nice sort of space and depth especially with the reverb as well so hope you enjoyed that tutorial I hope you find it useful you can of course download the patch directly from the fmhtutorials.com website whilst you're there check out all the other stuff we've got on there uh, loads more tutorials featuring fma any questions about this tutorial please get in touch and yeah thanks for watching all right cheers bye